Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Corrupted Seal Lord, Cause of Inversion Diablo. Taking a look at his leader skill, we have when the team only has elves, team attack times 10, recovery times 20. If HP is full before runestone movement time, team recovery increases by 2 times additionally. So now, taking a look at his team skill, we see that he only has the Corrupted Seal Lord effect with the Nucleus, and he has a times 5 L recovery boost whenever there is a black and white zone in play. However, keep in mind that it doesn't say anywhere that he will launch any overheal damage like the normal Diablo, which means that he only relies on this times 10 attack, team attack, which dual leader and ally could be okay, but I do think as a leader or as an ally, I don't think Diablo is going to be that good or as a leader, not that good, but you can use it as an ally with another uh, team leader to boost your recovery by a lot, granted that you only run elf members in the team. That being said, those, uh, those team builds are going to be very limited. And I, so I do think running Diablo as a leader or an ally is going to be a little bit more situational and only for people that want to try it out rather than use it for achievements teams uh, but yeah so now let's take a look at his active skills first active skill is cd6 we have turn all runestones into enchanted fire and enchanted heart runes and if the leader is an elf restore all runestones to normal state and turn runestones at fixed positions into enchanted fire elf runes and enchanted heart elf runes uh, in the following position and honestly, this is a pretty nice board. Uh, and you can also just um, switch it around to get more combos. But this is going to give you a lot of runestone movement time and also easier time moving, which is always beneficial for many teams. And also you have a good attack, good number of attacking runes. If you're running an elf leader or a heart or fire leader or any leader that can use heart runes as attacking runes. So this is a pretty good convert skill. CD6, pretty standard. Um, uh, however, the refresh is going to be pretty useful at CD6, but that does tie you to having an elf leader. So in an elf team, this skill is going to be pretty useful for that refresh. Uh, but other than that, a CD6 convert is pretty standard and there's other cards that can replace him. Now let's take a look at his second active skill. We have a CD4 active skill with an Ignite all enemies to turn their attributes into fire for 3 rounds. And for every ignited enemy defeated, the character skill gets reduced by 2. Uh, skill CD gets reduced by 2. Having a CD4 Ignite is going to be really, really useful. Um, and you ignite all enemies for 3 rounds, which means that you are able to um, activate this at the end of the 3 rounds to ignite the enemy again if you haven't killed him yet. However, igniting enemies is very useful whenever you need an ignite shield or to give a status effect to the enemy. However, those don't happen too often in the stages, so you can bring a normal ignite card and you don't really need that CD4 ignite uh, on Diablo, especially because you don't, there's no damage increase attached to the ignite. So for example, if it said that increased damage dealt to ignited enemies by 1.5, I think this active skill would be really good because CD4 allows you to activate it really fast, which means that you can get a lot of damage boost out of it. However, there are a lot of enemies in the game now that are uncontrollable and you are not able to ignite them. And igniting enemies usually is only used for dealing with ignite shield and also controlling shield or controlling skill shield, which they don't happen that often. So having like a CD6 ignite will do just as well as having a CD4 ignite. So in my opinion, not that great of an active skill. However, um, for people that like collecting cards, uh, definitely get this corrupted seal boss in your inventory because they, they look pretty cool. However, using them in a team, I think Diablo is going to be one of the weaker ones in the game uh, right now. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this card. 
please let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if I said anything wrong, and as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!